Hello everyone, today, we will introduce you to our specialized jelly-filled cable recycling system. This technology is designed specifically to handle the unique challenges posed by jelly-filled cables. So, let's dive right in. Jelly-filled cables, often used for their moisture resistance in telecommunications, present unique challenges in recycling due to their oily and intricate structure. These cables can contain various materials, including copper and plastic, but the jelly-filled nature makes them slippery and difficult to process with conventional recycling machines. Our recycling system is specifically designed to effectively handle jelly-filled cables. We can process various types, including thin jelly-filled communication wires and other related cables. Given the nature of these cables, specialized machinery is required to ensure a clean and efficient recycling process. The recovery potential is significant. As demand for recycled materials rises, so does the profitability of recycling these cables. Now, let's take a closer look at our jelly-filled cable recycling system. The process begins at the feed inlet, where cables are transported via a conveyor belt into our heavy-duty primary shredder. This shredder is equipped with specially designed blades that are durable and capable of handling the oily texture of the cables. Once shredded, the output is approximately 3 cm pieces. Next, the shredded material passes through a vibrating screen. On top of this screen, there's a belt-type magnetic separator that extracts any ferrous metal components, as jelly-filled cables often contain metal wires. Afterward, the shredded wire moves into the flotation tank. Here, the plastic insulation floats on the surface of the water, allowing it to be collected by a spiral conveyor. The residual copper wire, which may not be completely shredded, is sent through a second spiral conveyor into two additional shredders. These shredders break down the material to around 2 mm size. The output then flows into two water shaking tables for the separation of copper and aluminum. The separated copper must be collected manually and then moved to a dryer ensuring it is moisture-free and preventing oxidation, which can affect its resale value. It's also important to note that while our machine handles the processing, clients will need to create a water pit with filtration and sedimentation tanks to effectively manage the water used in the process. To summarize, our jelly-filled cable recycling system offers a comprehensive solution for efficiently processing and separating materials from jelly-filled cables. If you're interested in our solutions, don't hesitate to reach out to us.